hey guys welcome to my channel it's missy mills here i hope everyone is doing well today i have a different video as you can all see it's about lip glosses so i'm just gonna be showing you guys on how i made these lip glosses so keep watching to start off we need a little bowl you need a whisk or you need a spoon whatever you're gonna use to mix up your lip glosses it is fine and i'm going to be using this tkb trading vessel gel um, and I'm I'm using my measuring spoon here, so I'm putting my vesicle already. So the amount of vesicle which I have put there was 30 ml. So basically, it was two of those spoons because this spoon is 15 ml. So now I am just mixing it up. And what I did as well, um, I put my vesicle in heat for like 20 seconds. You know, because it helps to loosen up the texture of your vessel gel if you don't like it to be too thick now i am putting my coconut oil so i put 15 ml of my coconut oil so basically it's the half of the amount of the vessel gel which i've put in there now i'm just mixing guys and i did put a uh, vitamin e oil as well i only put like two to three drops So you just keep mixing guys till you get to the texture you want like me i don't like my my, uh, my lip glosses to be too thick or too thin i like it to be medium texture now i am putting some of the um some of the lip glosses in the um these two cylinders which i have there as i will be making three different colors and three different flavors now i'm using this um pigment from tkb trading well i forgot the name there i'll try to write all the names of the uh, pigments in the description box now i'm just mixing guys can you see how pretty is this pink oh my god it's really beautiful really nice so now i am putting my lip flavoring this one is strawberry um i only put three to four drops and i'm mixing up guys so if you're making like let's say 10 ml of your lip gloss you need to at least put vessel gel of 8 to 9 ml so me i like measuring my my um i like to measure my lip glosses so that when i'm making next time i know the measurements i just don't like to eyeballing um because sometimes you might make different texture so i like to measure so every time i do my lip glosses they'll be the same texture so now i have put this one as well can you see how pretty is this pigment guys it looks like lilac it looks like bluish it's just pretty like i love it it's just pretty so i'm just mixing guys mixing and what i did as well i ended up um adding up like two drops of um coconut oil Oh, look at this, guys. Look at the bluish, purplish, lilacish. <laughs> so now I am putting um, vanilla lip flavoring. I only, on this one, I literally put like times two. I'll, at first, I put three to four drops, but I could not smell anything. So I ended up adding up to six to seven drops. Then it was good. now on the final one guys the last one last one so this one i am using the red orange pigment this one guys it is really pigmented you don't even need to put much i only put like the tiniest um spoon if you know the measurement spoon from tk Bip trading i put the tiniest one just one scoop for that so i'm just mixing it guys and the color is really nice this is my favorite favorite lip gloss it looks like hot pink it looks like red i don't know the color is but it's just pretty guys this is just pretty so i am putting my bubble gum lip flavoring now um and this one it is strong the bubble gum is really strong so here's the final of three of them guys three of them pink bluish lilac and this hot pink or red amazing amazing <laughs> so guys if you'd want me to do more of these videos then let me know as i will be 
launching my website on the 15th of august and please follow me guys on my business page it's lesian collection i will put the link down below so now i am filling up my lip glosses and guys i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna be doing the whole process of filling up here on the video so i'll see you when i'm done voila here's three of them guys how amazing even the tubes i love them guys look at these colors they are so pretty and i'm going to be using these stickers to write my business name my logo name basically it's not like the proper logo as i have not done my um i've not done my labels yeah i'm basically i'm going to be using it as a label yeah that's the right that's the right word <laughs> so this is how they look guys i love them and thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like to see more of these videos then please let me know comment and i'll definitely do them for you as i will be doing it for my business bye